There are many uses for propane beyond cooking your favorite meat on your old barbecue and keeping the house warm on chilly days. Propane, a liquefied petroleum gas, is a very versatile energy source that has a high energy density and is both safe and clean to use. This makes it ideal for use in various applications in both the manufacturing and industrial sectors, well beyond just heating and cooking. In fact, this core demand only accounts for a small fraction of the total demand for propane. Natural gas liquids, or NGLs, are derived primarily from natural gas processing and to some extent from crude oil refining. NGLs include propane, ethane, butane, isobutane, pentanes, and pentanes plus. While all NGLs have various applications in the industrial and transportation sectors, propane is the only one that is also used as heating as well as cooking fuel. Suffice it to say, NGLs, including propane, are very profitable to remove from the natural gas stream and sell separately. This essentially makes natural gas with high NGL content considerably more valuable. This has led natural gas producers to focus their drilling efforts on these liquid rich areas, commonly known as sweet spots. So, what does a propane market in Western Canada look like? First, looking at the supply side, the majority of propane produced in Canada is, of course, from the energy rich regions of Western Canada, with Alberta accounting for almost 90% of the total. Over the past 10 years or so, the growth in liquids rich natural gas production throughout North America has caused a corresponding increase in propane supply, well in excess of domestic demand. Propane supply in Western Canada grew at an average annual rate of 5% during the past decade, from 160,000 barrels per day in 2010 to 280,000 barrels per day last year. Incoris expects propane supply to continue to grow to 330,000 barrels per day by 2030, albeit at a slower growth rate of just 2.5% annually as production from the sweet spots matures. On the demand side, propane in Western Canada has typically been dominated by the industrial sector, where it has many applications. Besides being used for conventional heating, the oil and gas industry use it in enhanced oil recoveries. Farmers use it to dry crops and run irrigation pumps. It is used in melting metals as it burns at an extremely high temperature. And it is also a key component in the manufacture of plastics that each of us use every single day. Other uses today include small amounts that are used as a fuel to run vehicles to meet transportation needs. And as mentioned at the beginning, core customers use it for heating and cooking. Generally speaking though, Use in these traditional markets is considered mature, and Encoris expects propane demand in these sectors to remain relatively flat through the forecast period at about 50,000 barrels per day. So, with supply growing and traditional demand remaining static, market participants had to begin searching for more lucrative markets in the Far East, as well as developing value-added demand right here in Western Canada. Western Canada has been exporting small amounts of propane to Washington State for a number of years now, but deliveries really took off in 2015 and have nearly tripled from about 13,000 barrels per day to export capacity of 40,000 today. With improved infrastructure and optimized operations, capacity could easily be increased to 70,000 barrels per day, if needed. The main focus for propane exports, however, has been from British Columbia to Asian markets. These exports began on a small scale in 2017, before a new export facility was added at Ridley Island in the Prince Rupert area that began service in 2019. Its initial capacity was 40,000 barrels per day and has since nearly doubled to 77,500 barrels. Another smaller facility at Watson Island began operations just last year that added another 20,000 barrels per day of capacity. Today, exports from BC to Asia are running at about 90,000 barrels per day, just shy of the total capacity of 100,000. At home, right here in Alberta, the Heartland Petrochemical Complex recently began operations. This facility is a world-scale integrated complex comprised of both a propane dehydrogenation plant, or PDH, 
and a polypropylene plant. It is designed to convert up to 21,000 barrels per day of local, low-cost propane into about 525,000 tons per year of polypropylene, a high-value, easy-to-transport plastic used for numerous products such as packaging, textiles, auto components, and even currency. Yep, those plastic bills in your wallet. Although a second planned PDH facility was suspended in late 2020, Incoris believes that as LNG Canada comes online, there will be opportunities for increased PDH infrastructure to firm up towards the end of the forecast, adding potentially another heartland size 20,000 barrels per day of propane demand. Please visit us at www.incoris.com to learn more and view our entire slate of products.